day watchers welcome back to my channel Japan time also known as hobbyholic yes my friends Seiko did it again this time they issued another speed timer only after a few months of the first speed timer this is the SBDL095 GDM version came with a free Seiko sailcloth strap I don't know the reference number of the international version, so if you know, please let me know down in the comment below. And while we are on the topic, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Before we go further, Let's go to the specs of this watch. Case size is 41.5 millimeters. Lug to lug or wingspan is 46 millimeters. Really short for that smaller wrist. Thickness is 13 millimeters. Lug width is at 22 millimeters. A little bit wider than the first speed timer. Let's uh, try it on my wrist first. I have or had a 16.5 cm wrist, but I did lose a little bit of weight. And my wrist seems to be lost a lot instead of my gut. Anyway, with my under 16 mm wrist, it is still wearable because of that short wingspan. Thickness is also nice and can be worn under a dress shirt. But definitely this is more of a sports or daily watch than a dress watch. But like most watches, this one can be dressed up with a change of a strap. A black leather perhaps. Not the silk cloth that came with it. They came out with three different colors. But of course I got the panda version which I also did in the first one. The case is polished on the sides and contrasted with that brush finishing on the top. Third crown and the same pushers as the first one. And now we talk about the bezel, which is the most prominent feature of this watch. It is in black and gray, which in my opinion gives it more contrasting effect and nicer than a flat black. It is more reminiscent of the Daytona design than anything else. Really, Psycho? A diet on a speed timer? One day might be surprised an exact replica. I hope not. I would say I have to draw the, the line there. A chapter ring with markers is present, which is not in the first speed timer. Given the smaller size of that one, it is actually better that they did not put it in. Sunburst dial, not a white textured on the first one, not so flashy, it does not capture or play with the light that much. Three sub dials in matte black, and a new addition in red second hand and power indicator. The hands are polished, not black this time. And yes, the applied indices are loomed, which are some of the complaints from uh, enthusiasts, especially from Psycho Hans. We have a sapphire crystal, nice addition for collectors. Case back is almost the same as each Seiko watch, but underneath that uh, is the Seiko's V192 solar quartz movement with power indicator. So, is this the watch that every Seiko fans want? Having it on hand and wearing it for the first time, it is much better than the first one. By the way, 
I keep talking about the first speed timer, SBDL085. I will put a link on the description below of the full review of that watch. That's a bad segue. Now let's go back to this watch. Having reissued another vintage type speed timer so close to each other is genuinely a bad idea in my opinion. The thing is, now I don't want my first speed timer. I like this one better. The hype of that watch has caught me and I bought one on its release. Now that I want to keep this one, I don't know what to do with that first one. A giveaway perhaps? Well, if I get a thousand likes here, maybe I will give that away to one of my lucky subscribers. Let me know in the comments below. While doing this video and searching some materials, I just found out that there is a new color, the SBDL103 or SSC917. Same watch but in all black. Damn you, psycho. I need to feed my family too. Not getting that one for now. There will be another time. I will try to be patient and enjoy this watch for the time being. This watch is gorgeous. Love it. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe. Cheers.